Good afternoon. Thank you for being here today. It's a pleasure to welcome you to this year's State of the Nation. Our industry is evolving at breakneck speed. Between policy shifts, economic pressures, and technological advances, it can sometimes feel like we're moving from moment to moment with little time to think about the system as a whole. But now is exactly the time to do just that, to examine the trends we're experiencing and the systems we're building in response, because the choices we make today will shape Canada's place in the global digital economy for years to come. Let's start with what we're seeing across the landscape. We're witnessing strong growth in digital ad investment. Early numbers show that Canada's digital advertising market is projected to reach over the estimated $18.2 billion in 2025, continuing a steady upward trajectory. The 2025 IAB Canada Revenue Survey will be released in the coming weeks, but preliminary numbers look strong across most channels, with CTV and retail media driving us forward. Digital media inflation numbers hit roughly 4%, with video as expected being the highest driver, but supply is increasing in Canada, with several new inventory streams entering the market, and retail media promises to leverage all screens and speakers in the coming months and years. With growth comes responsibility, and the industry is facing mounting challenges that require thoughtful response. The rapid advancement of AI is transforming creative, targeting, and operations. Fragmentation across media platforms is challenging effective reach, and consumer trust remains fragile, especially in the face of unclear privacy legislation. Regulatory forces from DST to platform-specific policies are sending conflicting messages about Canada's digital future. And these aren't just headwinds, they're signposts, and they're telling us it's time to evolve. And to evolve, we need to keep our eye on our most important stakeholder, our audiences, Aside from the rich cultural mosaic that makes Canada so unique, we have to start understanding how we're really feeling. And just last week, FCB and Angus Reid presented a timely and fascinating study on consumers as citizens, highlighting that ec economic stress is personal and not abstract. Canadians are voting with their wallets, often emotionally, and brands must respond to both rational and emotional drivers. Let's have a look at the numbers. 84% of Canadians are worried about the impact of tariffs on the economy. 63% of Canadians are expecting their cutbacks in spending to continue, so it appears to be lingering for a while. 76% of Canadians report feeling angry, and 51% are emotionally disengaged, stressed, hopeless, and pessimistic. The cost of living is the number one concern, and job security ranks high, with 48% of Canadians fearing for theirs. Think about that. Almost half of us are worried about our jobs. 83% of Canadians say they're trying to buy Canadian, mostly driven by opposition to U.S. policies. And this leaves us with some solid strategic direction. Brands, as they continue navigating a polarized, proud, and price-conscious market, need to remember that in today's climate, relevance equals resonance. Understand shifting priorities, show empathy, and build lasting trust especially in Canada's distinct and prideful market. Know your audience as both citizens and consumers. Politics and personal values are shaping spending. Reconsider media and brand placements. Platforms and personalities signal political alignment, and that goes for news sites and podcasts and even retail media efforts. And focus on emotional value. Even in a price-sensitive market, emotional connection insulates against commoditization. This also speaks to the importance of brand building and balancing the immediacy of performance media investments. Let's move on to the new architecture for media buying. To respond to these realities, plus the growing regulatory pressures we're seeing across borders, we need more than quick fixes. We need a whole new architecture. We can all feel it. There's a fundamental shift that's already underway. Media buying is increasingly moving towards a SaaS-based model. Just as Salesforce transformed sales and Shopify transformed retail, we're now seeing the emergence of media planning and execution as a software service, modular, automated, scalable, and API connected. This isn't just about operational efficiency, it's about unlocking real-time transparency, automated compliance, and accessible tools for all tiers of buyers, not just enterprise. It reduces friction, removes manual layers, and enables smarter optimization across channels. 
For Canada, this shift could be transformative. SaaS models can level the playing field for regional publishers, independent agencies, and yes, small businesses, by providing access to infrastructure that was previously out of reach. And there's plenty of work on the other side of this transformation. This is change management. This is consultative. This is a level up for all of us. And marketers will need help breaking out of the algorithms to reach new creative heights. At IEB Canada, we're committed to enabling this transition. We're working with partners across the supply chain to define the components, establish the standards, and ensure that Canadian voices are included in building the next generation of digital media infrastructure. This is the system level change our market has been waiting for, and Canada has the talent and tenacity to lead it. As we build these systems, we must ensure they work for everyone, including the small and medium sized business that form the backbone of our economy. SMBs represent over 97% of the Canadian businesses and employ more than 70% of the private workforce, and yet they're often let out of the conversation around digital transformation. That's why IAB Canada is launching a new initiative dedicated to supporting small to medium-sized businesses with accessible tools, guidance, and advocacy. From plain language guides to video success stories, we're helping small businesses harness digital advertising to grow. We're also advocating for fair tax policies and inclusive infrastructure to ensure SMBs can compete on a level playing field. Because digital doesn't just drive engagement, it drives jobs, local prosperity, and future innovation. And if digital means business, it must mean business for everyone. We have a lot on our plate, and a lot of it will be explored in the conversations we'll be having this afternoon. From pets and signal loss to opportunities and breakthroughs. And looking ahead, the future of digital media in Canada will depend on how we design it and connect our systems. Systems that respect privacy while enabling relevance. Systems that leverage AI responsibly. And systems that include all players, from global platforms to local entrepreneurs. We have an opportunity to lead with clarity, agility, and purpose in Canada, has the talent, the innovation, and the collaborative spirit to build a future-ready media industry. But we need to act now, because the momentum is already here. So as we gather today to discuss where we're at, let's move forward from signals to systems. Let's commit to building together with intention. Let's build a Canadian digital media ecosystem that's fair, inclusive, and globally respected. Thank you.